In today's video, I'll be showing you how to strip paint the easy but messy way. Let's get started. You to tell me what to do. I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon, and I'll do it because it's what I wanna do. Cause all these opinions and all these All right, so today I'm gonna be using um, the aircraft stripper to get off all these spots that are chipping off. I'm gonna be going down to bare metal so that I can shave the valve cover, which will be a video coming out after this one. But basically I'm just gonna use the aircraft stripper, strip the valve cover down, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. There is a bunch of methods you can use to stripping the valve cover or whatever you're gonna paint, um, but this one works pretty effectively for me to get it all the way down to bare metal. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna use some of these stripping and refinishing gloves. You can get them at Walmart for really cheap. I think it was like three bucks for a pack. Um, these are actually reusable. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area because this stuff is really powerful. If you have a skin condition, this will irritate your skin. Um, even when little specks land on my arm, it starts turning red, red dots, and it itches really bad, and it burns. So be very careful with aircraft stripper. You can get this at O'Reilly's, Walmart, AutoZone. Uh, most places carry this, like Home Depot and stuff like that. But we'll, we'll go ahead and get started. For best results, once you're finished applying the coats, put it in the sun because that'll help with the heat. It'll help uh, bake this pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying. All right, now that it's in the sun, I'll give it about 10 minutes, come back, check on it, and uh, wipe some excess off using the brush, and then we'll apply another coat. All right, you can speed this process up using a heat gun. Now we're going to remove some of the layer. All right, as you can see, it removed a lot of it. I'd probably say 80 to 90 percent of the paint is now gone. Um, it will need one more coat. We'll let it sit out here in the sun for another 10 minutes and then we'll wipe it off again. We'll speed the process up just a little bit on this one too. All right, so I let it sit for about 20 minutes now. Um, I did test this area down here and it seemed to pull the paint off pretty well. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to get the rest off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, uh, it's basically all stripped. I'm just gonna go hit it with the pressure washer and then we'll be done with this piece. I'll be using a 1700 PSI Ryobi pressure washer from Home Depot. As you can see, all the paint is pretty much removed. There are small little white specks, but that can easily be sanded out with the 320 grit sandpaper. Now on this one, I will be shaving it, but there will be another video out on how I shave that coming out right after this video. So definitely stay tuned for that. I figured I'd just do this video for someone that wants to know how to strip things very easily. The aircraft stripper only cost $10 from O'Reilly, so it took $10 to strip this down and I still have plenty left over. When doing this, just make sure to be very careful to not get it in your eyes or on your skin. Um, I hope this video has helped someone, but uh, stay tuned for how I shave this valve cover because the video is coming out next. So thanks for watching the channel. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. Hit the like button and drop me a comment below. Let me know how you strip paint. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Back.